crusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. <laughs> what? That's key? <Keith? laughs> <laughs> That's the video I sent you. I was high as hell eating pizza. Yo, welcome to Crash on Me's podcast, episode 106. I think. <laughs> Don't put a stamp on it. I'm pretty sure. Every, every t- you know, the last episode I said the wrong time. The wrong episode number at the end. Y'all don't care, bro. Yeah. At they the just, end of the day, you see it. Y'all just vibing. Y'all get it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get it? Hey, hey, shout out to uh, the Patreoner $7 tier. Oh, yeah. We got a We, we got, got a Patre- great episode in there. Like, that's, sometimes I get jealous. I'm like, damn, I wish more people could see that episode. Yeah. But I'm glad our Patreoners, our $7 tier is seeing that first. Yeah. And there's another episode dropping Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. So another episode dropping on Patreon on Sunday. Let's just shoot for Sunday for our seven dollar tier. So make sure you subscribe to the Patreon um, dollar tier. You get the ad free um, podcast and you get it the day before it comes out. Um, that's about it. So we, I don't know what else we're gonna do for the seven dollar tier. But some lot of stuff coming up. Man, so. that's a lot of time that went by. <laughs> Broke niggas, what's up? <laughs> How y'all doing, man? <laughs> Them boys rubbing two pennies together right now. <laughs> hey, y'all good? Y'all need no heat. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? I'm saying that. That bill going down. What bill? Oh. You know how the broke dudes got a fan. Uh, They got their freezer open with a fan going out of it. We're going to get this shit. (laughs) Be like, hey, we ain't got no AC, but we got some A. C. Bro, what are you talking about? What happened this with Denver Nuggets won uh, championship? Yeah, what a hand claps. What a hand claps. I got you. Ah, your kids, Nicola, your kids. Uh, that nigga Jokic built like a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he one of the best basketball players I've ever seen in yeah. my life, bro. And that is our sports take for the day. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you get out of me. But going back to sports one more time, um, did you see that commissioner, Adam Silver, because it's supposed to be after the finals that we find out what type of suspension that John Morant mm-hmm. is going to get for flashing a gun for a second time on live. And the commissioner had, like, a little bit to say about it before he made the announcement. Here it is. <laughs> you know who this is, motherfucker. <laughs> Get your ass up. Pick up the fucking phone and call me back. <laughs> you know who this is. <laughs> That's what he said. It's judgment that. day. That's it's always, judgment. That has to be the most, like, awkward thing, like... Knowing, like, if your parents are going to put you on punishment, they say, I'm going to tell you what your punishment is a week. Like, you, you, you give your parents a whole week to think about your punishment, like how long you'll be grounded if you get in a whooping or something like that. Like, do it now. No, he, but, but John Moran knows. You think so? Hell yeah. I think somebody would have leaked it if, because they would, they just came out again talking about it was a, a water gun. Yeah, they talking about it's a toy gun. It was a toy gun. They had all that time <laughs> to think of a lie. I mean, I would have been like, man, John took Bro, some- I would have said that shit on camera. Like nah this is just a toy Cause it's after you already moved the camera yeah. You already knew that something's gonna Look, happen you, you try to do something Like drop the clip or some yeah, shit Yeah like, Hey this is a toy That bitch go off like five <laughs> Turn that bitch on Oh after that, man he, Man John might as well come out full gangster Like fuck it bro I'm already yeah. getting suspended I just pistol whipped the commissioner Like nigga I don't give a fuck about none of that shit uh, that's just me though. If I was John I would just get a hunting <laughs> license And just flash my guns Before you, you know you go out hunting Cause wouldn't that wouldn't that be a problem? It wouldn't be a problem if he was going hunting or the gun yep. range it or just a be, different song. It's just a combination. But of it's things. a difference. It's a difference when someone's hunting and someone has a gun in the car. Why they both have it in the car? No, no. One is white. One is black. <laughs> <laughs> racism, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> niggas racist. Um, did you see uh, B-, B Simone getting a lot of backlash for what? what? So DC Young's flies. Um, Obviously, wife or girlfriend or person that she he was with, Jackie O died, right? Sad. And then I guess her and B Simone were really good friends. Yep. So B Simone has a a paid close friends that she already's been doing before, right? So she then put on her story saying, um, "If you guys want to see how I'm really dealing with everything that's going on, subscribe to my close mm-hmm. friends and with a link to it." And people, <laughs> she's getting a lot of backlash. I. Some people are saying, oh, she was already doing it, but it just it's just like me saying if something happened to Pat, right? And I say, hey, 
y'all subscribe to <laughs> y'all subscribe to the Patreon, and I'll let y'all know how I really feel about this situation. <laughs> you got it's kind of like it's a little weird, right? It, but she was already doing it though. That's what people were saying, and I get that, right? But but why say that? Like why leave the? It's she could have. I, I, there's so many other ways she could have did it. She could have said it differently. She could have just she, did it she, to she, the people that are already in her close friends. Or she, I mean, she's obviously still trying to make money off of it. She could have just said it differently, like, uh, you know, just just said a prayer if you want to see the prayer. You know, this that's still. I think she could just promoted it just like how she normally promotes without having her friend to be involved in it. Yeah, I mean it's her life. It's her no, life. it is, but I'm just saying like this. She, she like Beepa she, Simone gets in trouble for a lot. Of, like yeah, not about to, backlash that she for yeah, stuff she, she says. Yeah, she remember she didn't want to take a shower. Yeah, the yeah. shower thing. Walk around. Um, what like was a, other uh, stuff that she got um, inside of a seafood boil? <laughs> so it was other stuff that she. But anyway, oh the, the we never even talked about this the tri- <laughs> the Travis Rudolph case. Did you hear about that? that? Oh, yeah. We never talked. I had in my notes as uh, Travis yeah. Rodolfo, though. I don't know why. Rodolfo. <laughs> I had a friend named Rodolfo. He, um, so basically, he got in an argument with his girlfriend. She wasn't even his girlfriend. Or a girl. A girl that he was sleeping with because she found um, him texting or calling another girl. Right. And then she then texted her brothers or her brothers and her brother's friend to come shoot this, this place up and shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. And then he brought... Some of his friends and they came and then one of the his friends died. The brother's friend, one of the brother's friends died that came there. So Travis Rudolph was on trial for murder and basically was innocent. But you know the other thing I did not know? That woman was married. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> the most dangerous women, man. You're married and then you're mad at somebody like cheating. Married women be out here, man. That is insane. They don't I just want to know how the dude that um <laughs> That's his her husband feels now. I, I know I know a married woman with with a ring case. What do you mean? Like she had a case for her ring <laughs> when she take that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> Where the men at? <laughs> like, but now if you ah, that's got to be tough. Like you're married and then you're cheating on somebody else. No, the that, thing, and then you get mad at that person. And for then you get somebody. Basically, you got somebody killed. No, she did. She yeah. definitely got somebody killed. The thing is about like some of those situations is like some people think that they're more gangster than somebody else, and you might be. Yeah, but that does not mean that's like you're bulletproof. The bullets don't say that. Yeah, like if if somebody nerdy shoot a bullet, they'd be like, "No, nah, you a nerd, fam. Yeah, this ain't gonna hit. Like, yeah. no, nah, it don't work like that. You just got your shit blew back. And so it looked like they came over there to intimidate him, and he like really like and some the people really if, like, if, ready to let that shit go. If people are ready to crash out over like family, and I know people, some people are, but without even analyzing the situation or knowing. Like, especially when it comes to those type of situations where there's another dude involved with your sister, there has to be a way more level-headed way to come out of this. Obviously, if if a dude is beating up on your sister, you want to go there and do what you got to do. But you got to also know that if you go there and kill the dude that's that's hitting your sister, you're going to be in jail and then you're not going to be away from your sister at all. Even the, the <laughs> thing I don't like about it, just like the IQ of these niggas. Like, yeah. Just like the... You know, I hate violence and I hate that some <coughs> shit like this went down. Yeah. But to like your sister gets into it and she like, oh, come do something right now. So exactly. we're gonna come do something at his highest point of security. Like the he's never gonna feel more secure and ready for you to come get him after he just heard her call you. Mm-hmm. So now you let him call people, get his shit loaded. All this type of shit. And then you're coming to uncharted territory because you came to his house. Yeah. You don't need to know the lay of the land. You're just, right, just driving over here. You're looking at the GPS. Lewis and Clark got your <laughs> shit flew back. And then you lost one of your boys because y'all trying to act tough. Then y'all didn't even come over there like really, really own that. Or he wouldn't have been able to get no yeah. shots off. So it's just like, that niggas, um, I don't know. Gay niggas a Kobe punk fake. Yeah, that's it. It just sucks that somebody lost a life to such some some way out of off the wall. And there was video of him of her hitting him too the whole time. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's, it's like, like fuck. It's, <laughs> they gave like the greatest pump fake ever of like not going over there. I mean, not going over there with ill intentions, but still acting like like why act like you come in somewhere with ill intentions if you're really not. Who you think should go to jail for that? Nobody. She should. She should. Yeah, I think so too. She should. There should be like a it low key. I, I'm the biggest instigator, but I would never instigate like a yeah. death situation. There should be time for instigators 
and people that get people almost thrown in prison. Like you put everybody in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Facts, facts, facts. I remember um you ever watch see a show that seems like a more girly show and then you kind of see it in passing and then you start getting more and more invested in it. Hell yeah. <laughs> it used to happen a lot in like college and stuff like that. Man, I used to <laughs> always get into shows, man. Well, the one show that there's not that recently was that the show that I like is um Emily in Paris. No, nah, that's crazy. You think so? Yeah, that's crazy. I don't think it's that great of a show, but it's such an easy watch. It's so corny sometimes where it's like an easy watch. If I need like 28 minutes to feel like it flew by like that, mm. I'm watching that. I always say, yeah. The corniness sometimes get me like, I definitely leave shows when they get too corny, like when All American got too corny. Yeah, I can't. I saw, I saw this nigga running a curl route in some vans. I said, <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> vans do not been like that, nigga. And like, I'm I so think the, the shows I phased out of, I used to watch the Kardashians a decent amount. When it, like, Me too, yeah. A long time ago, when it yeah. used to air on E all the time. Hell yeah. But now it's like, I can't even, I don't think I could ever bring myself. I can't do reality shows, to be honest. No, that shit too fake now. Yeah. That's why I think everybody. That's why but I the think, ones back then were more fake, too. We I, just didn't know. We we're just more ignorant. I think Zeus has taken over. I've never seen an, a, an episode on Zeus. I mean, Zeus, you know, uh, Floyd just did that. The whole thing was with, through Zeus. Yeah, because Floyd damn near owns half of Zeus now. Yeah, now he does. Uh, but anyways, like, their stuff is more, like, realistic. Like, people don't see. It's like. Why do you think it's more realistic? Because they're letting them fight. <laughs> but that's how does it make it realistic to me? I think because they know they can throw a couple of punches. It's like, I'm going to escalate this argument to a fight way quicker than it should have had because I know it's going to bring content in. I need I need to do that shit for a living. If what? I can instigate, if I could just be around them girls and instigate, <laughs> I'm like, uh, dog, she said your toes look like dog nails. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> she said, you have a canine's foot. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's what she said. And she said, you smell like the back of a German Shepherd. Why German Shepherd hips be going bad like that? They do? Hell yeah. <laughs> you just have this. Remember we don't say we didn't know a, a gay person that was racist last episode? Yeah. Like two episodes? I think I thought of one. Who? Tiger King. Mmm. He had a little, little, little. I don't know if he was racist, though. But I think he had a little bit in him. <laughs> you just accusing him yes. randomly? Yes. Of of being racist? Yes. I think he said some racist shit on the show. I can't remember. Don't quote me on this, people. But he's gay. They already quoted you for saying two dollar bills don't exist. People always want to be nerds oh, because that one ass uh, little print shop I in think, your town prints two dollar <laughs> bills. That means the whole world. They are not printing two dollar bills. I think Hispanics do do that for good luck. That's what they said. Yeah. yeah some yeah. some of our our Hispanic uh, listeners said for Hispanic, good luck. Yeah. A rebate, y'all. No, I'm playing. Oh, what? <laughs> Anyways, um, Zion Williamson, a freak. <laughs> no, he freaky as hell. The thing is, okay, so Zion Williamson is a basketball player. He uh, is literally in the same draft cast as John ja Morant. They mm -hmm. went one and two, and they played in high school together. Well, a lot of people don't know on the AAU team. So, like, they got a lot of connection. And they both in trouble this offseason for di different reasons. Yeah, I mean, but Zion's not technically yeah, in trouble. Not really in trouble. trouble. Basically, um, he got, he got a he got someone pregnant. I'm pretty sure they have an OnlyFans. And then there's a couple oh, girls that cla star, yeah. that claim claim because it could not be true that they've been messing with Zion. They do have pictures and screenshots. Yeah. And I shit. never believed that. It's just like sometimes you see the, the text messages and all you see is the, the contact name say Zion. I'm like, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but it was a Snapchat of, it says Zion Williamson and then it had his verified star next to it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> then one of the girls had a picture of his back. Photoshop, you can Photoshop anything though. Yeah, that's true. The, one of them had a picture of his back. You know what I mean? Ain't too many niggas look like King Kong. <laughs> That's that nigga. <laughs> nigga built like a refrigerator. Um, but nigga was doing all that cardio, but they didn't want to lose. <laughs> but he, but he like he like messing with real porn stars. That might just be his kink though. We don't kink shape he on just, the show. He just want to eat her. My eater. My eater. He probably just wants shit to get straight to the point. Mm. But he right. sounded like he was he was smooth talking some of the women though. Nah, I've seen Zion been caught up with girls before. He got caught up with that one girl from Duke. Yeah, yeah. Was just like you're beautiful. Don't let nobody else tell you you're not. Like, <laughs> 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 nigga, you're going to the NBA. That is not your line. Nigga. He's sick. Bro. <laughs> just tell her to come over, man. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga using uh, uh, 
Uh, un- nigga don't even need to use that ammo. Yeah, <laughs> nigga pulling out lines and shit like that. <laughs> nigga, <you> Zion. <laughs> What's like the? <laughs> I feel like there's there's a whole bunch of famous and rich dudes that be lying to their girls, and I'm like, dude, you are way too successful to be lying. There's people out here having. You troubles. got way too. There's 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 a there's a, a threshold where you should not be able to tell a lie anymore. If I have freaking. Fifty million dollars and up, like what am I lying to? Who are you lying? <laughs> like to? why am I lying? What what am I really trying to escape? <laughs> why are you lying to your wife? <laughs> in a helicopter. Yeah. I don't know her name. <laughs> we are a thousand feet in the air. Just tell the truth. <laughs> On a private jet, too. It's just y'all two in here. <laughs> um oh. So the remember we always argue about OnlyFans and you'd be like you know people should do it and I disagree. I never say people should I say people can, can do whatever they want no they can do whatever you want I just don't understand it. like how your first episode you butt ass naked like come on now how should they lead it up lead it up put on some lingerie see if you can gain some momentum if you put on lingerie <laughs> and you don't get no money when you naked you probably gonna get some money but it ain't gonna be that much mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying like put on some full clothes throw some feet pics in there test the water because. I hate to see the girl. It's not like if I'm a if I'm a rapper, right, and I'm trash, right? I can put out five songs before I find out I'm trash. I'm like, damn, I need to stop. I'm done. I'm out. Nobody's gonna go back. Maybe a couple people. I'm being a couple people group chat, mm-hmm. but that's very minimal. Nobody's gonna go back and be like, remember Pat used to do this, but them girls that's on there and then they don't make no money, and they find out what it's like to be a struggling rapper, <laughs> but. When they the only time people will ever see it is through the paywall though. That's what I can't. You think you don't think them dudes are screen recording or yeah? Like but do you think they're famous? If they're the thing about this on Reddit, but yeah, you. I think though somewhere on Reddit would probably be for the more popular people. If they're not popular at all, who the fuck? You can post it in no, a, somebody. There's a crash dummies group chat. I mean, Reddit, and there's only like two like comments in there. I know, I'm just lame as hell. <laughs> no, I'm, just saying, shit, I'm just saying, though, they're still like... <laughs> no, hold on. <laughs> no, nah, shout out to whoever created that Reddit, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can keep that shit, though, man. There's <laughs> <laughs> only two comments in that bitch. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I, it, it is tough, though. I think, you know, I think the strategy, if you... This is just my marketing brain working right now, right? If you want to boom, get a booming um, OnlyFans, I think the way you do it is... Um, you create TikToks, very teetering the line, very, very like to what you're showing and just like thirst traps. And then you just drive traffic from there too. Look at you. Ready to be a pimp. <laughs> My friends, I have a friend that's an OnlyFan. Uh, OnlyFan pimp? <laughs> I, I guess you can call Do it. Do we keep them all in the same hotel? No, 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 no. We're not doing that now. <laughs> Just he just arrest like, this nigga, man. <laughs> he just manages them all uh, virtually. Pre- all pimps are predators for sure. Virtu- I don't know. It's just like management, I guess. No, I know management. management. Nigga, predators. <laughs> what they call them a predator? Nigga want to manage bodies. Nigga, it's like he's not owner. managing a body. He's just managing That's their video content. It's just like somebody managing your Instagram. Nah, you just choose I don't what need to nobody show. to manage my Instagram. Exactly, but some people do. Right, slap if- the shit out of nigga for liking the wrong thing. <laughs> fuck you, liking Qdoba. I fuck with Chipotle. <laughs> 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 Fire this thing Bro I know you did not like That flame broil burger From Burger King Bro I got my shit Looking nasty <laughs> Burger King is nasty as hell You don't like Burger King? Hell no What don't you like? Deer meat What don't you like? Deer meat. What, what, don't you like? <laughs> what don't I like? What did you just say? Deer meat? Yeah that's what it tastes like <laughs> Deer ankles My bad about Deer say, meat pretty good Probably Deer cock? <laughs> I don't know about that no, I don't good. know nothing about that How you know you haven't been served it? I think I would be like, ew, this shit nasty. <laughs> Don't you have that 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 message that Key put on his story? Pat. <laughs> oh wait, what I put on the story? No, nah, that's that's crazy to think you got a taste for deer dick. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I know this is not dick, nigga. <laughs> How can you tell, nigga? Dick got that gamey taste. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I know this. Man, what? I know this nigga didn't just serve me no dick. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. That sounds so. Somebody clipped that. Somebody clipped that. I'm about to turn that to a sound. <laughs> I know this nigga ain't serving me no dick. Uh, what, what was the thing that Key put on his story? Man, this that nigga we- Key trip. This nigga Key put on his story. It was a Sprite Lemonade Legacy. <laughs> the nigga said, "If you sip lean." 
Grab this soda. I guarantee you gonna fall in love. And in parentheses, it said, "I don't sip lean." Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> what? That nigga have to give a precursor. <laughs> I had to let niggas know. Hey, hold on. Wait, did you just try that? The drink you just like fuck. Yeah, I had but how do you know it'll go well with lean? Because anything with like medicine, you can match medicine with different types of sodas. Like different types of flavors of sodas and make them taste good. Like Pepto Bismol can go with something strawberry. Promethazine can go with something lime flavor. Now that's some fast shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have an acquired taste. <laughs> so when you Bro, so when you drank you, so you, when you drank you. it, you just said, "Damn, this would taste good with some lean Hell that I've yeah. never tasted before." Hell yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do a podcast on lean for y'all. <laughs> gonna be high as fuck. I would never do lean. Huh? I would never do lean. That boy's scared to get addicted. <laughs> I can see that nigga double cupping now. <laughs> this nigga Mike boxing in slow motion. <laughs> he that Drake. That's the thing, bro. It's, lean is such a useless ass drug to me. Like that shit don't like that shit make you lazy. It just you don't look productive. I've seen niggas do the most with on weed and like even shrooms and shit like that. You ever seen Drewski um, when he was making fun of hood niggas days? <laughs> no, what was it? <laughs> it was a nigga like off lean and pills and it was like 1059 and a nigga was sleeping in this car. <laughs> <laughs> that shit like your whole day goes by. Nigga whole day. <laughs> and after that niggas go preach to some kids how they used to be throwing that football. <laughs> nigga before I got in the streets man ask Johnny I throw that bit about 50 yards. <laughs> now I'm throwing that sack 50 yards. <laughs> Fuck nigga <laughs> Fuck with me <laughs> Fuck with me playboy um, Hey why they on Jack Harlow For wearing a bonnet Oh my god Listen 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 <laughs> I'm all about the The black community uh, <laughs> Now I really fuck With the black community I ain't gonna lie <laughs> You're black <laughs> Hey Now you gotta fuck With your people And I like when we get On people ass But like I get what people are Trying to say You know when you get What somebody say But the shit stu- stu- Stupid as fuck <laughs> I get what they're trying to say because they're saying like, okay, if Nicki Minaj had a bonnet on out and she was like at a basketball game, people call her ghetto and trash. I don't think so because it's Nicki Minaj. That's where, <laughs> that's where people getting it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, it's all about the status of the person. Yeah. It, it, because you're only going to take it as a fashion trend. If I see someone, if I go to a Walmart or something and see someone with a bonnet on, even though I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. But someone might think like, oh, she couldn't blah, blah. That's really a white person line. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I've done, I don't even judge anybody that has bonnets on when I be in Walmart. I don't care I, what I the just fuck think it's a normal. A bonnet, Probably a, having flip-flops a on. A robe, <laughs> some, some shoes, shit. You can have a tissue hanging from your ass cheeks <laughs> yeah. still, man. I don't give a fuck. We both in here for the same thing. Exactly. Let's go get our deodorant it's not and like, vitamins it's, together. It's not like we're at a, a like at a, um, what's the, the high-end store, like a Nordstrom or something. Yeah, and then we're. I'm just saying no, though, yeah, coming in Nordstrom we're, like we're that both. Is crazy. We're, we're just both. Not even that coming in. I'm just. We're both shopping at the same place. So meaning we both can afford what, what's what's and in here. I don't. <laughs> I, what I really don't like is when only one type of woman wears like a bonnet. Really, that's a lot of people. I know, but it, you know where it comes from. It's like more associated with the black woman. It's yeah. just like a club. Like when we used to go to those clubs, and they just be like, no white tees, no army fatigue yeah, yeah. pants. No white forces. And it's just like, okay, just call me a nigga then. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So they do stuff and they say shit is trashy because there's a dominant person wearing them. Yeah. And they want to be racist towards those people. Yeah. It's like, why is like, so if someone wearing a scarf, it's okay? I don't know. I think. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think it is okay to them. But I think the bonnet is definitely meant to protect your hair. Right. <laughs> he's just wanting to wear a bonnet. To I don't somebody. even think often, like you say, the Nicki Minaj thing. I don't think it would be Nick, if it was Nicki Minaj. No, I don't think anybody would say anything because Nicki Minaj can do what the fuck she wants, and she has the cachet to do it. You know, but they, because I've always been. There's been there's been times you see like friends like who dress really different, and you be like, damn, that shit kind of trash. But if you see somebody like somebody like Lil Wayne or even like these NBA players wear that that same risky item. It gets looked at different. That shit's <laughs> still trash. It's still trash, but it still this looked that different. But yeah, it's definitely looked to the general pop to the general population. But I don't get this shit. Just bothers me. It's just like you'll look at these people accounts and they'll have like twenty thousand followers, and all they do is talk shit about celebrities. But yeah. bro, you don't get paid from this. Yeah, shit. and honestly, I think more people don't care than do care because 
the people that do care, that don't care, they're never going to voice their opinion on. And they're never going to, like, uh, argue against yeah, it. Yeah, you're not going to argue against it. They, they, there's a lot of people that's just indifferent about it. Like, I don't care that y'all own Jack Harlow ass. Like, why would I yeah. give a fuck about that? Like, yeah. I'm not about to sit up here and protect Jack Harlow. Yeah, like, the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> exactly. Nah, nigga. But... In the same sense, the shit is stupid. Like, you're commenting on that shit, and your kid is hungry. Like, <laughs> get that nigga a snack. Stop taking a bite every time you get this nigga a sandwich. <laughs> Make your own. <laughs> Flat out. Oh, man. So we get the listener callers? Yeah, let's get the listener callers out the way, man. All right. Yeah, what's going on? Salutations. Um. All right. I can explain that the answer to that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold, on, hold, on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I got an excuse. Wait, hold on, <laughs> nigga. Okay, my bad, my bad. Welcome to Crash Dummies Podcast. What's up? What's going on? Nothing much, man. How you doing? <sighs> Mom, I'm doing okay. <laughs> you sound stressed. I'm not Nah, yeah. I mean, I just got to go into practice, but like, you know, I'm good. What's the one thing that you haven't told anybody? All right, like you gotta hear me out on this one, okay? Oh man, it's it's never good thing. I, it's never a good thing when people tell you to hear you out. We'll decide yeah. after though. Okay, look, it's sometimes like I get like erect to like unusual things, you know. What? Uh, can you name the unusual things? All right, <sighs> like anytime a nigga mainly, sigh before he say something, this shit about to be so bad, man. <laughs> We go. We okay, good. So we got the voices. Sometimes, for like music, podcast. Um, you know, I box. So like you know, sometimes fights. Like it's you know, it's, but it's not like it's not like not like sexy. Wait, you know? did you it's say podcast? Like, I was hoping you didn't hear that one, but yeah. No. <laughs> so you hard? No. You hard right now? Nah, not right now. Nah. <laughs> Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it's not it's not like that. Like Nigga, what like is it, it like then? <laughs> See like, this is why this is why I'm telling anybody because like no, you this, me out. Like when some people say like you definitely should have kept this shit to yourself. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. So you get boxing when you, you get you get hard when you boxing? No, when I'm watching other people, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah. Nah, he trolling. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, I swear. I swear. <laughs> so, what podcast like, do you nah. listen to besides us? Please don't tell you get erect to us. No, I mean, that was episode 74. That's like. <laughs> mm. Or. Why yeah, the fuck would you ask him that? That's what I want to know. I was asking which other podcast no. besides us. No, why would you oh, ask uh, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan? <laughs> What you be looking at his head? Uh, depends who the guest is. But yeah. no, what was episode? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my goodness! This is what was ep- what? I thought it was just audio. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, what was episode seventy four for us? Bro, why are you asking? Remember, Bro, why are you asking? Remember, why this dude got hard? What episode? She doesn't think I'm alive. What was there to even get it? erect on? Wait, which one was it? I think it was up. I don't know. I was just talking about Mike outfit. I don't know. Wait about no, who? No, no, hey, let's go. Let's say, no, 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 <laughs> That's funny. Yo, yo, what's the deal? <laughs> Ain't shit, man. Chilling like a villain. You know me. Big play, Trey. Welcome back to Crash Homies Podcast. What's good? What's happening? What's good? You know, I, I forgot to put your last clip out. That's crazy. I still we got it in the, in the still vault, got though. It. I was <laughs> looking for that. No, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it. The way we recorded that last episode, it was like completely backwards. So your clip was with like a normal clip. Like a normal non I was thinking that. I was sitting there looking for that bitch for two weeks. I'm like, damn, you got me. <laughs> no, we still got it in the tuck. That's a viral video. Um, I got a question for you. What's up, bro? What's something that you never told anybody? Okay, so uh, goddamn, I had fucked my homeboy, baby mama, before I knew it was his baby mama. 
Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I know, listen, listen, I know it sounds bad, but listen. No. How, how is he your friend and you didn't know he had a baby mom's? This is what I'm going to tell you. So <laughs> okay, goddamn, okay. So, goddamn, it was a week before he announced that he had a baby on the way. You feel me? <laughs> and I had hit started before he told me that. So <laughs> then I'm like, damn, congratulations, nigga. You feel me? And then the whole time, for my the whole nine months, I'm like, damn, I hope that bitch don't come out looking like me. You feel me? <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, shit, should I plan my funeral or should I just like, you know what I'm saying, wait it out? You waited it and out, huh? They became out. Shit, that motherfucker ain't look like me. I was happy in hell. Did, so, you, did you at least still, tell him? There still hasn't been a DNA test, though. Oh, that motherfucker ain't mine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker ain't mine. That, oh. little, that, little fuck, that little motherfucker know who her daddy is. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Is there a certain look about the baby? Look, talk, all that shit. That ain't my damn baby. <laughs> how does how's the talking have to do how, with wait, it? How long did how long was the baby alive before you knew you was in the clear? Yeah, about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at that motherfucker. I said, Yeah, that ain't me right there. <laughs> No, not you getting like the uh the baby picture in the group chat like y'all here go my girl, but you wait yeah, I mean here yeah. go my baby girl and you waiting on it for a different reason. Oh yeah, I hey I was waiting on that bitch like it was a DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I hey. got that picture, I was like, yes, God. <laughs> now I got another question for you. What's up, bro? If your girlfriend got turned into a zombie, what would you do? Oh, y'all remember my last answer about that intruder? <laughs> bah, bah, bah. And I'm going to walk out the door. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm sorry. None of that shit. I can't kiss her because I'm going to turn into one. Because <laughs> shit. So fuck that. Man, you just going to have to die. What, what if it was your mom that turned to a zombie? Oh, bro. She going to have to go too. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh. What's uh, what, what type of shots you giving her? Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> I'm gonna hit my I'm hit my OG with something a little softer. My girl, she done put me through a lot. That that fa fa fa. That shit gonna be payback for all the bullshit she put me through. <laughs> what type of shit she putting you through? <laughs> hey, we not gonna speak on that. She could go to jail right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Hey, appreciate you, Brody. Always a pleasure. You know it, man. Shout out, Big Play Trey. Oh yeah. Yo yo yo! What's the deal? Welcome to Crash Army's podcast. How you guys feeling? How y'all feeling? Why sound like you in a bathroom? Nah, shit. I just uh, I look you did got the bathroom. What's something that you haven't told anybody yet? Uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to uh steal people dogs and wait for the reward to come out like as a kid like that was something i used to try to do just to get a little money and i was kind of wait this was a business no nah, nah, you said nah, to make a little business. money how many times did you do it and were successful uh i probably did it like six times no <laughs> <laughs> nah, six is probably like one or two times i'd have been like okay but six times how many how many dogs have you did you hold at one point y- uh, I had like I had like three dogs at one point. <laughs> I had like three dogs at one point. I I don't know. Honestly, I was just doing it because I mean, you know, I was younger and shit. I mean, I just needed money. Honestly, like, were you the one money. returning the dog every time? No, sometimes if the reward was too low, I just fucking just let the dog go. <laughs> <laughs> so but I'm just what? saying, if you give it back to the owner, you didn't give it back to the owner. You just like re lost the dog. Wait, you were nah, stealing the that. dogs. Yeah, I was stealing the dog. Yeah, like so now they really the lost when you let him go. Oh, yeah, he's really lost. Yeah, I, I, oh I, 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 I'm I, just saying, if somebody you have to do this in different neighborhoods because you're the same person that, you, that <laughs> oh, just yeah, keep yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So I just go like surrounding neighborhoods. Like I'm from Chicago, so like I go like around, so, like some surrounding neighborhoods, like around my area, and then I just. I just wait. If I see a small dog, he looks easy to grab. I just grab him. <laughs> wait, where in Chicago were you? Where, I'm from Chicago. Where in Chicago were you doing this? Is a I predator. <laughs> I live on the south side of Chicago. Where at though? Like street? Uh, like like Ashburn area. Okay, we got him. We got him. So <laughs> <you're dead>. <laughs> <laughs> now this nigga is uh, a dog trafficker. <laughs> nah, trafficking dogs is insane. No, that's insane, bro. <laughs> 
I mean, shit, the money was decent though. Some, I remember one time this lady, she had put a reward out. I had stole like her chihuahua and shit. She put a reward out. It was like a four hundred dollar reward. I brought the dog back immediately. <laughs> what was the lowest one that you let the dog go for? Like you talking about like returning the dog? No, the one like that you look? that the one that you said you let the dog go because it, the the money was too low. Oh, it just said no. Cause I had called him and I was like, "What's the cash prize?" I was like, "What's the prize?" Like if I was trying to wait, so you were doing like like dog. Liam Nielsen? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I called him. I was like, "I think I see this dog." I was like, "What's the reward?" And then she was like, uh, and then she was like, uh, we got a gift card for you. And then I just hung up. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Nah, nah, I feel that. She don't love her dog as much. No, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> to, her, to see really somebody's dog? Nah, nah. To, to see somebody's dog and just be like. A gift card for your dog? You don't love your dog? Nah. You got to get some cash out. Nah, he crazy. He tripping. <laughs> yeah, they get another one. <laughs> All right, bro. Nah, All right, bro. You need to be locked up, nigga. <laughs> you have a good one, bro. What you be doing to them dogs? Right, you right, peace. You said what? What you be doing to them dogs? Shit, just leave them in the backyard. <laughs> no, we got to call Pete on this nigga. All right, bro. <laughs> you through, bro. <laughs> Calling the cops on that nigga for sure. <laughs> okay, PSA. Ready for this? Okay. Key, I just want you to know this is not a good thing. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Don't, don't ask a girl for her body count. Why not? It don't matter, bro. What? Body count does not matter. Why you say that? Bruh, it's to a certain extent, like, especially when you get, like, my age, it's like, why would buy a body count matter? Why would, okay, now if I didn't talked about a hundred niggas in a month, and you say, yeah, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, all right, no. <laughs> no, body count don't matter, no. No, nah, it, it matter. It don't matter to a certain extent. Like, if a girl is experienced, she's experienced, yeah. and she's using protection and doing things the right way, then... Then good on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want... Okay. I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want a rookie center fresh out of Iowa or you want Nikola Jokic? Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Nikola Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Nikola Jokic ain't been passed around. He on the same team. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. Yeah. You got a lot of experience, we though. Want, we going off shots in the NBA. Uh, fuck. Okay, but how that course? Okay, okay. <laughs> that course <laughs> Nikola Jokic got a hundred and something career uh, triple doubles. How much do the rookie out of Iowa got yet? None, right? Right. So who you want? Nikola Jokic. There you go. That's a crazy lie. Though, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy lie. But in, like in the same sense, so you saying body count matters? Yes. What's what's how do you even find out body count? I don't because once I find it out and it ain't the number that I like, I gotta get it. <laughs> that's so bad. That's bro. so bad, bro. So what's, that's why I don't so bother. She like, so you like in love and stuff like that, and she like, and then you like finally she like slip up, like, oh, I just wrote my body count on the sheet, and you go over there and it's Luka Doncic number, and you're looking like, what, 77? <laughs> as soon as I see that. I gotta go. But you already you already had sex. Seventy seven. Kissed. Seventy seven. Been down there, ho- hurt the ghost of other niggas' dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you just eating her out. <laughs> eating All up. you hear is I've been in that shit, nigga. I think the bright question there would, would be then how many people your body count in this state? Yeah, like because state by state doesn't really matter. Yeah. You know? If you're doing all that in, in Florida, what does it really matter what's going on here exactly. in, in, in Illinois? Just sit in that. Just take a uh, a bath. That's probably why you move. Just take a bath in the um in the water and mix it with some vinegar. Yeah, but the thing is, you know rolls what are, do? no clean your coochie. No, snap that pussy back. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I was saying, if 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 a rose were reversed, does it matter with a dude? No. Some girl. What? Yeah. That's bizarre. No. I, I, no. I like I like the point you make. It's yeah. all about how many that person knows because. What one could outweigh fifty, yeah. right? So if and you so if you about to talk to a girl and she like, oh, I had sex with fifty dudes. You just be like, oh, do I know any of them? Be like, nah, I was born in Canada. I fucked forty eight of them here, and I fucked the forty. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it doesn't matter if it's if it's a. Uh if it's not the same state. No, it definitely don't matter. No, it don't if, matter. If I can't run into it. That's the main thing is just running into the person that exactly. like. Exactly. And that many dudes saying, you know, that's that gets weird, right? right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, 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 you fuck the cop that do, but the, that same do thing, the traffic on 52nd Street. That's the way I go to work. But the same thing should Every be. Every time this nigga thrusts it. The same thing. 
<laughs> the same thing should be applied to guys too, though. What? Because okay, I'm trying to think. Does the variable you, you trying to even a double standard? No, but is it variable? All the girls like yes, Mike. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. So say you're a dude and you have. So if you're a dude and you have sex with a girl that had sex with 77 people. Yes. And you're a girl that had sex with a guy that only had sex with four people, or say 20 people. Right. What's, does, is one worse than the other? That's all of you know. Some people are so insecure they yeah. can't imagine seventy seven dudes been in their. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's insecure. What? That's a lot. I'm not gonna like, seventy seven. Seventy seven women is a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy seven for a woman is like different women. That's crazy. <laughs> that's a lot of people. Seventy seven. You having sex with seventy seven people, man or woman, means that you are not working on your craft. Like, <laughs> nigga, you do you like a long time? Like, <laughs> the fuck. Seventy seven just seems like a lot. Where are you in your career? Holy shit! That you had sex with seventy seven different people. Why are you laughing like that, nigga? Do I know seventy seven people? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga key. <laughs> Why does nigga look guilty? <laughs> What's your body count? I mean, just that's a wild crush. Where's my body count? Yeah. That's a wild crush to actually do. How? I say we on a podcast, nigga. <laughs> it, it's you just said that. What? You just said that at the beginning of this topic. You just said it's why people ask. How do you even ask that question? No, I'm saying why do people think body count matters? That's what that's what my question really was. I don't know okay. what question I really asked, but that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold that, nigga. You know? <laughs> Thank you. It's your age times two. Divided by five. Nigga, watch out. No, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'm still on it. His age times two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Divided by five minus 20. Yes. Okay. It's a negative number, ain't it? No. No, it's not. Who age? Your age. Divided by what? <laughs> by right. five. Divided by okay. five. No, it's time. What did I say? Times two. So your age times two uh-huh. divided by five. Subtracted by 20. That's zero. Told you that's negative. <laughs> that's not negative. <laughs> that nigga key. <laughs> that boy had us really thinking. Man. <laughs> had me thinking like a motherfucker. <laughs> Same nigga at the spelling be freestyling. <laughs> I don't know how to spell that word, but what I do know how to spell, spell femur is- key. Femur? Yeah. F E M U R. Okay, let's come get on it. now. That, let's get it. Let's get it. That's crazy, <laughs> nigga. I got something for you. Since what you, up? Since you want to play with that nigga Key? Yeah. Come on. I got some, spell rhythm. Hold on. Rhythm. Yeah. Oh. R Y T. Wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. R H Y T H M. Yeah. Ooh. You got it wrong first. It's too late. I just had to think. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> it was still in my brain. It was still in my brain, though. A lot of people. That's the think. thing. I hate when people can be wrong the first thing, and then if it comes to your brain without me looking anything up, that means it was in there. I just had time to take time to find it. I don't respect it. You don't? So just shut the fuck up until you find out. Now I'm more pissed off. That <laughs> That's like I spoke again. too soon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I see you impatient ass nigga. <laughs> you know them uh, gurus. So it was uh, 88 degrees in, uh, what was that, Britain? <laughs> it was 88 degrees in London. And uh, the, the guards dudes, you know, the guards with the, the tall yeah, yeah. the tall hat and the red clothes, they, they was passing out. Because it was 88 degrees, and a lot of people around the world don't know it. Don't get like that over there. So 88 degrees Fahrenheit is crazy for them. That's them coochie hairs on top of their head. (laughs) (laughs) So we got. We're glad you had on the podcast. We're glad (laughs) glad to have you on the podcast, Key, because you say some of the wildest shit, and that won't get us in trouble. Yeah, and it never like. When they track you down, you're going to see Key still don't give a fuck. You know? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> I can't cancel a nigga that don't get canceled. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is crazy though. Coochie hair is insane. But Coochie hair is literally <laughs> insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Look like somebody thing. took, uh, uh, you know, when, when the toilet paper done. Yeah. And they put a bunch of super glue and they spent it up a hairy nigga ass. Like, <laughs> Why is that in your brain? <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> oh man. How long you been waiting to use that joke? Man, look like a nigga uh wrote a, a 
but a lint roller. They gotta, hairy they gotta get them dudes summer attire, bro. You can't be wearing a suit year would year you, round. <laughs> would you want the top to? Open nah, up they need shit? to. They need to at least get like a cut off vest and some shorts. Nah, boy, them no boys, boots. They chose that life. And then maybe like the hat has air conditioning or something. Man, them boys chose to be the biggest dick isn't, riders ever. Isn't that crazy? Where <laughs> isn't that crazy? You have an occupation and a dress code, and no one can ever explain the functionality of the dress code anymore. But tradition. Yeah, all this stuff. Like you think, man, I'm not bowing down to no king. <laughs> I tell you that now. Like God the people put me in America on purpose. Like the people at some of these restaurants, and like they have to wear like the paper sailor hats. It's like, bro, give me a real hat. Like, man, I see, I'm an adult. What's the <laughs> restaurant? Uh, Cops, yeah, man. Cops, they got them boys dressed like slaves and that. Yeah, <laughs> like God. <laughs> cops like got, a local burger and they, ice cream place in Wisconsin. Them, and that's what I'm saying. They working with ice cream. They got them in all white and burgers and ketchup and shit. Grilling and yeah. shit like that, man. That's the thing. Your job is always setting you up for failure. You, for a failure. You see the people at Home Depot. They get the orange aprons to protect their actual clothes and shit like that. Did you see that girl go viral? Which girl? Um, there's a girl. Oh yeah, the Home Depot girl. She basically said that I could have. I think a lot of people were. She just took a, a picture and then somebody quoted a tweet and oh, says, quoted said, it. Ladies, see, you don't always have to make OnlyFans. I hate when niggas do that, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Always trying to make a point off another nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Where your shit at, bitch? <laughs> but again, Shaq reached out to her, mm -hmm. uh, slid in her DMs. Been, I saw him working with Brittany Renner, too. Yeah. I think because she like showed that she had a boyfriend and people were like, um, now she was saying people were like been harassing her boyfriend and her family and stuff like that. Brittany Renner? <laughs> so no, no. The girl. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. So there's a lot. Of, you know, there's been threads of other girls I, I, in, in, in Home Depot. Yeah, but I think that's the thing. That's why I always talk about like that podcast, like Fresh and Fit Dudes, right? When they have those girls from Miami who sometimes don't sound the brightest, right? There are so many normal girls out here that look just as good as them that are out here because people think that you have to go to those places to see uh, beautiful women. Right. But they're... Peep, there's beautiful women working every type of occupation out there. That's true. You can't let those freaking Miami blinders and the Cali blinders just like that's the only places where they go and make your judgment based on those women there. There's so many normal people out here. That's yeah. why it, it, it's kind of crazy that that's even a surprise that a girl working at Home Depot looks good. And that, that's like a, a story. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't go to Taco Bell expecting to see no dimes. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, give me my burrito. I think some. I think the other thing is people expect everybody to use their what's it called, pretty, pretty privilege. Yeah, to get them a little more. To get a little more money, like yeah, girl, but people girl, make an honest living, especially yeah. at, at at Home Depot. From that, people make an honest living at those type of jobs still, though. Yeah, because people do. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad, bro. You're a classist, bro. <laughs> I'm not even man. <laughs> You're a classist, bro. <laughs> I'd rather go broke. <laughs> no, I couldn't personally. I'm work. not a classist. I just like <laughs> like some of those places don't intrigue me. It just couldn't be me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like I understand. There's people that, but we we, we both done jobs that we didn't want to do before. Yeah, hell yeah. We both were doing Uber at one time. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> no, being an Uber driver is so humbling, bro. Because yeah. you realize everybody think you a creep until proven otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga is creepy, and I get it now. So everybody might be in the in in some people might just be in that Uber phase. Yeah. Might be in that Uber face, but I never went to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot is not even a I think I applied for a job at Home Depot my freshman year of high school, uh, college, and I didn't get the job. I tried to uh, apply to Menards, mm. but they wanted me to work for free. I said, niggas. Bro, the one of the, I remember on the application. I, the 1600 <laughs> I remember on the application, it was say, it, it like made me memorize the sections in the. Menards? In, in, no, in the Home Depot oh, that I applied Depot? for. So they showed you the map, right? And you had to look through it for like a minute. And then they, then they go to the next screen and it's just a blank like map without like the label. And so it just says match the labels as good as possible. <laughs> I'm like, if that's the test you gave it, gave them, then how come every time I ask for when, where's a random thing at Home Depot, they always have to call their manager, their supervisor and shit like that. Like, bro. I hate when people try to give you a test off some shit that they learned on the fly. Yeah. Like, nigga, how you going to test me about the store? I just walk. How about I just walk around yeah. this bitch and see? That's, that's, that's like the same thing like when companies ask like. But no, no. Let, let's rewind that because we do want people. Because who's that fucking 
uh, Ikea. Ikea, and the girl <laughs> didn't know where some shit was when yeah. you asked her where it was. <laughs> and she didn't know where it was. <laughs> oh, um... But that's hello built ass. <laughs> but I was gonna say that's the same as um when jobs kind of do the what's your biggest weakness? Um this fact, Pat. What's your biggest weakness? Tetris body built ass. Square body, SpongeBob Billy Pence built ass. But uh <laughs> stop. Rubik's Cube built ass. <laughs> Shashi was a really nice lady. Golden Graham built ass. <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying, bro, it's the same thing as uh, boxing ring built ass, <laughs> WWE ring built ass, boxy boxy body built ass. She don't piss pad. Amazon box built ass. What's the next topic, man? Built like a other word for a cigarette, a square built ass. Sorry, that's bad. All right, on to the next topic. All right, all right. A Florida man almost lost his leg to a deadly flesh-eating bacteria after he was bitten by a family member. Not nah, bad, a nigga. Breath got a stink for him to give you a flesh. <laughs> this nigga do not use no mouthwash at all. A family member bit him and a, got a flesh eating wound. A family member. Fuck. And bit who bites in the leg? Like what happened? I don't know. How do you even get in that position? Sound like that nigga owes somebody money. That's all. But a bite. <laughs> It's acceptable to bite a nigga in the leg. <laughs> nigga won't pay you back, but you can't beat his ass. Nigga, ah! The leg, though, I feel like, like how does the one get down there? Was it a tussle and then, I don't know. What if it was a baby? Like a toddler? Nah, that's crazy. Biting a toddler? No, a toddler, a toddler biting bit him. him. Nah, oh, it's definitely is. a grown man. They got it. I don't, I don't know how that happened, man. It sounds like they lying. <laughs> Did you see the Floyd fight? Yeah. That was uh, cool. Then the fight ended in a, a brawl. I just gonna know Floyd's people are there. Them dudes are like gigantic. Yeah, he always <laughs> keeps some big dudes. Man, around. that many that many dudes coming at you. That's that, what I'm saying. That and shit it was just quick. That shit just seemed like a chaotic ass event, bro. And it was in Florida too, so it's just like anything goes down there. It was bro. so crazy to me. That's the only thing about like somebody getting mad in boxing and MMA. Like, okay, if I get mad in football and want to fight, you could. Maybe run a better route than me. You got 200 yards on me. That don't mean you can fight better than me. But if you in MMA or boxing, you can fight better than me if you just beat my ass. And now I'm mad. Like, he got mad at Floyd and then went to go try to fight him. But you were already losing the fight. Yeah. And he, Floyd hit him with a nasty-ass counterpunch during the brawl. A nice cross. Mm-hmm. Dropped like, his ass. Just, he gave him the, the one where you duck. Yeah. And you, like, get stunned. He gave him that bitch. Like, yeah, motherfucker. And then they don't realize, like, Floyd ran, like, 100 deep everywhere he go. So, good luck with that. So you, you can barely <laughs> but, touch the dude you fighting, and he also deep as hell. Yeah. That's the thing. People are saying why Floyd keep taking these fights, but they keep paying him millions of dollars. It's like, why not? To why spar. not? Fu- why not? Yeah, to spar against Literally. people you know you're never gonna get hurt against. To spar, he's getting a million dollars. I, saw I don't think. I don't think he's relying on. He's not relying on um, like gate and all that. People are paying him up front. For yeah, this up stuff. front. And so he's not. That, that's he's, why I didn't like that. Charlemagne, the guy, was like, "Oh, King, you can find a better way to make money. It don't gotta be like this. You got this going. You got this. How you gonna tell somebody yeah. not to do what comes second nature to them? And it's easy. He's not getting hurt either." Second nature. People say tarnish his legacy, but I'm like, I mean, How? if it's not like, so I mean, it's the big three right now, right? And there's, you know, there's retired NBA players playing in that league. It's like, are they tarnishing their legacy because of that? Yeah, kind of. Why? I don't like. I think when you play in that league, it it kind of like takes you away from like legend status because a legend will. So never- Shaq is a legend because he's on TV. No. But, but you, they're all doing different things. It's like one is a physical activity. One is like. I just don't. Well, who's the greatest player that played in that game? That big three thing? Yeah. I don't know. I really I, don't I, know. I, like I don't Rasheed think Rasheed Wallace of, played in there maybe? I don't think a Hall of Famer has played in that game. Yeah, but that's how it doesn't tarnish their legacy then. Because it's, it's basically saying that you're like, you're still looking for money. No, it's just a job. Nah. <laughs> it's just a job. It's on Fox. Nah. They, pay, pay, they pay decent money. It's just like so. Why? How come the same people don't get the backlash for going on becoming on t- on uh, I TV? Bad, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You just say it tarnishes their legacy. Does I, it tarnish their legacy? No, if they're going TV and they're making the legacy. And, I think it just puts them but, into like a box of like, okay, you weren't, you're not like a, a legend, legend to where you don't. But you, legends don't play in that league. That's what I'm saying. 
That's what it's saying right there. But how does it tarnish their legacy then? You, that's what you said. Well, I ain't mean it. No. <laughs> I take it back. I don't get why niggas just don't take shit back. What you gonna do? <laughs> fight about it, nigga? You saw uh, I, uh, Apple's coming out with the new VR headsets. Yep. They're like 3500 3000 If I see any dude walking on the street with that shit on, I'm punching you. Yeah. Now go buy a car. <laughs> and I'm taking it. <laughs> he always added to the crying, nigga. <laughs> But there's also I think the other update was like a uh, FaceTime voicemails. Face so, oh so yeah. somebody like doesn't answer your FaceTime, you can leave them a, a video voicemail. I don't know what that's gonna be. <laughs> I'm still gonna ignore you crying. I guess. Like I saw the call. <laughs> now I can see you crying. Now I'm really gonna end it. <laughs> I see a tear drop. I guess sometimes you gotta know why people are FaceTiming you too. Yeah, that would be crazy. Do you think it's appropriate to FaceTime? Hey, or bro, why you leave, bro? They gave everybody a thousand dollars and spread the shit. <laughs> Come back. That would just, that would literally be my luck. Yeah, that is your type yeah. of luck. Um, a woman in Ecuador w- woke up in her casket, like during, like when they closed her casket right before burial. How did she die? I don't know. Well, she didn't die. <laughs> well, I'm like, what made them pronounce her dead? I don't know. That's a good question. I think it's something sketchy going on. <laughs> Maybe they thought she, they killed her. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Anybody that's had a funeral, just fart by the casket. That nigga twitch. What? <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I feel like everybody just unhinged. Everybody take a deep breath right now. I ain't taking no deep breath. <laughs> everybody man. take a fucking deep breath. I'm here. Deep breath key. If you're watching this podcast, See? listen, 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 listen. This is this is a note for, you know, people that meet me and they immediately want to watch my podcast. Listen, you don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Put it like that. The person that you saw today, you don't know. And the person you see right now, you don't know. Neither one of them is me. <laughs> That's you. Don't judge. You're a chameleon? Huh? You're a chameleon? Oh, I thought you said I was a chameleon there. I don't know why I went right there. <laughs> what does that mean? Chameleon there? Yeah. It's a rapper. That's a word? It's a rapper, it's a rapper. Oh, he must be ass. <laughs> Key, you don't know who Chameleon is? Yeah, like no, him. I never heard of him. You never heard they see me rolling. Oh, yeah. They hate yeah, 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 yeah. It's Chameleon. Your, oh, I thought it was. Oh. Who you thought he that don't got no other good songs? I thought it was Ludacris. <laughs> what other songs you got? No, he do got another good song. He definitely got another good song. He got another good song. Let me look at that. y'all got to look up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it can't be that good. Camille's there is like, like in our rotation Camille right now. Millionaire popular songs. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ryan? What's Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's rolling, ain't it? That is, that is rolling. Am I picking oh. up a hint of citrus? Well, <laughs> he got one called a hip hop police. I think I heard that one before. <laughs> How that one go? I don't know. <laughs> gotta play. I gotta hear like the first couple seconds. Teamwork lights you up. I gotta switch hey. to my premium account. Hold on. I'm gonna crash on these. We ain't got crash. Hold on. I got. Hold on. Whoa. That's not him. I ain't never heard that before. I know. <laughs> that came. Now here. you got one more song that. Hey, hey fuck that. <laughs> I got a tech business. <laughs> <laughs> you got a what? He got a tech business. Yeah, uh, yeah. He invested. No, 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 no. We can't do Camille like that. We know <laughs> he that. He invested in a hey, lot Pop of police, stuff. I heard this one. Hold on. Hold on. I... Go. He is just a... murder, murder. He dropped that on Halloween. Murder, murder, murder. Remember that? Hell no. It's Pat don't even remember it. You can't Damn. keep defending it. He only got one song? No, no, no. He got more than one <laughs> no, song. No, no, That's his no. most popular song, but he got. I heard that murder, murder. Let it, me look up Chameleonaire and see. Man, put, just put in the comments. <laughs> yeah, just put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not dissing Chameleonaire. <laughs> <laughs> just don't know no, no other songs. Hey, but Roland is, 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 is withstands time. Riding. Riding, riding. They see me roll. Why you call it ride? I don't know. <laughs> Start riding dirty. Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> you riding dirty. You're trying to catch me riding dirty. That was fire, man. Great country song. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I got nothing else to say. <laughs> all right, then we can end the podcast there. All right. All hey. Right. Appreciate y'all coming on the show, man. Sorry, got a little unhinged here. Man. <laughs> Again, if, if you're here because you know us personally, don't, don't, we don't even know what's happening right now. So you're about to 
you come up to me personally and be like, remember you said this? I do not remember calling him racist. It's a joke. Who's, who, who'd you call racist, though? I don't know. I just always assume I did in every podcast. <laughs> anyway, funny. this has been episode... Oh, we didn't talk about Trump. What happened to Trump? He got uh, actually, like, he's oh. under arrest, I think. Oh, we can talk about that next time. Yeah, fuck that next time. <laughs> <laughs> this Are we been, on the uh, air? Oh, I'm gonna play my uh, my friend's song, um, Eli. Bro, Stones. we better not get flagged, Eli. Yeah, yeah, if we get flagged for this. Not gonna, nobody's gonna hear it. So now we're this, jumping you for sure. This Eli Stones, a uh, hundred bands. Um, Pat, shout out to Eli. Oh, I gotta send this to you, actually, Pat. Oh yeah, yeah. Go, I'm about to play Eli. it. I'm about to play it. Send me my boy Eli. Hey, we get uh, we get copyright for this. We jumping you though. <laughs> anyway, this has been episode <laughs> 106, right? We gonna hurt you bad. 106, right? Episode 106, right? Episode 106. All Shout right. out to my boy Eli Stone. Peace, 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 peace. One of the greatest around. You let me breathless inside. I'm feeling dead. You in my necklace. Too much. I can't pretend that shit is reckless. True crime that's in my mind. We got it dead, dead. Girl, you got me begging through this heartache. Feeling oh. like the joke the way you pretend that you know me. Girl, you got me sweating, but my heart's so cold. You should learn to love it every day. It's what you told me. You don't know just what this really feel like. Whoa, wait. Hold on to this feeling like a hundred pounds. I'm begging, but your mind won't fall. Keeping up a show, this how the fuck you sick and troll me. Girl, you got me.